Quick video today, Range Rover Evoke. We've got people on YouTube wanting more Evoke stuff, so we were going to do a bit more Evoke stuff. Um, so we've bought some accessories off Land Rover, and they got bought all their stock of these. Um, and we're looking at these seal plates. Now, my dynamic car came with these illuminated seal steps. Um, and if you manage to pick up a set of illuminated seal plates, um, this video will also do the same... Um, do the same thing, purpose. Because um, we're going to show you how to take them off, take your original one off, um, and how to put, to, to change. And you change this whole plastic step. Um, one thing to note is the color of this plastic step. I think there's three colors they use. Well, we've got the three different types. Um, and they've got like coffee, what are they called? Espresso, Espresso, ebony, which is black. And lunar gray. Lunar gray. So um, we're also going to go and we've stolen the keys to julian's evoke which hasn't got any treads in and we're gonna fit a set of these union jack ones that we've got in the back here i'm just going to show you now so that's what we're going to do in this video so right what accessories have we got so we have got right then so they come in pairs now um yeah interesting point to note so this is a five door car um now you'll notice that even on this top of the range dynamic they don't fit any rear tread plates so the lights a bit dodgy there but you can see there's nothing fitted there so um it's no surprise that when you buy these union jacks so these are not illuminated these are just just um but they do break up and we'll see on julian's car how they they do make it look a little more classy so this is a genuine accessory from land rover comes with this sort of union jack stainless steel etch plate in there um and they just pop in you can see the poppers here so you've got these little spring clips there and then these little locating poppers and a little guide pin there to make sure you get it in the right place um so there we go that's the little barcode right so they come as a pair so you've got a left and a right and dan could you kindly point out where it the left there they go you can see that can you point that out down in the middle there See where it is in the middle? Oh, actually, I'll use my own yeah, thumb. There you yeah. go. Right, so you've got an L and an R, so you know which side to get them on. So they are on... What's that? Is That's the lunar grey by the looks of it, isn't it? So that's the lunar grey colour. And what colour is that one there? That's also lunar grey. What other colour? What's that? <laughs> Haven't we got them in? That's the espresso. The espresso, but we haven't got the Union Jack one in espresso. We've got the... We've got the Range Rover in Espresso, so you can get the non-illuminated Range Rover. Now, they've got a little, it looks a bit blue, but that's the little protective foil. Can you just pull that back for me there, just to reveal the... There you go. So when they come, you, you see you've got the protective, and then you've got that sort of etched effect in there. Right, we're bored now. Um, where's the other top we've got? So we've got these, we've got these in a couple of colours, haven't we? Yeah, black. Black and, right. So let's show show people how to trash how to trash my car, and then we'll go and do it on Julian's. So we'll practice on my car first. Right. So what's the what's the plan? So obviously we've got an electrical connector under this one, Dan. So yeah. what are you going to do? You're just going to lever it up, are you, yeah, or pull so it? Up? It's just on these. It's just Those pop poppers. Off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you going to lever without damaging the trim? Where do you reckon the best place to lever is? Because when you're levering, you're levering. It. What's that? I was levering it on the on the rubber strip. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Let me come down here and have a little look. There you go. Oh, they don't take a lot of force. You could probably lift that up from that end, could you? Now it's lift it up from the back. There you go. Yep. And obviously we've got an electrical connector. Now I think the electrical connectors on all the cars. Um, let me know if you have a look. I think if you fish around there by the front, that comes from the front there, doesn't it? That electrical yeah. connector. I think you're fine. Um, actually, when we go in Julian, should we have a look and see if there's one there? Yeah. So obviously we're not going to fit the non-illuminated ones to our car. We just wanted to practice. So now we're going to go outside and have a look on Julian's car. So there we go, we're outside on Julian's SE Tech. So you can see that the base models have a sort of Range Rover in the plastic, but it's fairly uninviting when you get in. You've got quite a big slab of plastic. So we're hoping this Union Jack is gonna, gonna spruce it up a bit. So there we go. So you're on camera, Dan, so don't scratch Julian's car. That's it, pop that up. I reckon he's worked that along, I reckon. It doesn't matter if you break that one. There you go, that pops out, that's easy actually. Yep, yep all good, right. 
make sure you've got the, so obviously we're on the driver's side, the right side here. So make sure you've got an R on the back of that one. You got the R where we look yeah, in, yeah. you have, he's got the R. There's also an R. Yeah, you've got that little, and that little step there is going over the little hump in the carpet there. So you should feel that guide pin lead you in, shouldn't you? Yeah. Right, give it a little tap, give it a little boof boof, that's it. Right, put the plastic off. There we go. That's that done. We'll get Ben to photograph that. Um, all right, let's do the other side. And we're actually, everyone's bored of watching. So there we go. So that's the upgrade done. So whether you, oh, actually, let's do the other side and have a look if there's an electrical wire. We didn't have a look. Yeah. So we'll have a look whether the SE Tech does have, uh, oh, don't put it on this, don't put it on this car. Right. <laughs> Pull it up, I, that's it. Oh, is he surprising? That's it. Give him a little. Doof. Right, have a look down in there, Dan. You got any sign of any wire in there? No. We'll have a little route about, but we can't see anything immediately. So we've had a look and we can't find a wire there. Um, if anyone finds one, let us know, but we can't find it. So maybe you won't be able to upgrade to Illuminated if you don't have them as standard. Good luck with that.